Hello and welcome to the Techie channel for Indian Express. So today we are unboxing the Redmi Note 4. Now this is a special edition of the Redmi Note 4 because this comes in the black color version. Sure the box is white but inside you have a matte black phone and black is really the color of the season as far as smartphones are concerned. Today we are unboxing the Redmi Note 4. Now you can see the box is pretty nice actually it just says 4 if you can read that. And Xiaomi has sent us the 4GB RAM plus the 64GB ROM version. This one costs you 12,999 rupees. And you can pre order it on me.com as well. The pre ordering is up every Friday. So let's just take another closer look at the box before we decide to open this phone. This is a made in India phone. Xiaomi's been talking about how they have uh, two factories in India now. And these are apparently being manufactured in uh, Andhra Pradesh. And the Redmi Note 4 is a dual SIM phone, it's a hybrid dual SIM so you can put a nano SIM and a micro SD slot or a nano SIM and a micro SIM together. It's, um, it supports uh, FTE, LTE, uh, this will support your Reliance Geo SIM as well, this is a 4G Bo LTE phone. So let's get down to unboxing this phone, obviously I'm going to need a scissors because I don't have nails and I pretty much can't do this without nails. Okay, so now we are officially unboxing the phone after I've struggled through with the seal and the plastic outside. And there you have it, a Redmi Note 4 in a gorgeous, gorgeous black. It actually does look nice for a rupees 12,000 phone. I don't think there are any all black, black, black phones in this price range. Um, and it comes with 64 GB storage, which is pretty good considering the price. Um, so let's see what Xiaomi is giving you with this. Uh, yeah, this has. The information about the phone, uh, there's some more information, uh, there's the USB cable, the charger and no Xiaomi does not give you headphones. If you want headphones you're gonna have to pay and get a slightly more expensive device or you'll have to buy headphones separately. So let's just take a look at everything that's inside, of course the SIM pin. Uh, yeah and here is the Redmi Note 4 unboxed. We have the box here, there's the warranty card, details about the phone, about how you can use it and set it up and the phone. So let's take a closer look at this device. In terms of the basic design, I think it reminds you a lot of what other Xiaomi phones you might have seen. If you've got the antenna bands on top. However, with the Redmi Note 4, the speakers are now at the bottom of the device and not at the back like it was with the Redmi Note 3. Uh, the camera bump is not there at all. Uh, Xiaomi sticking with the fingerprint scanner on the back and you've got three capacitive buttons that will light up on the front. Here's the volume blockers, the, the power button and here is the SIM tray. Let me just show you the SIM slot and how you can go about inserting SIMs in this because some people seem to have issues with this. Uh, so yeah, you can insert SIM 1 here, SIM 2 and then a mic or a micro SD slot and I think the support is for 128 GB on the Redmi Note 4. Uh, Xiaomi has been sticking with the hybrid SIM for some time now which uh, not a, lot, a lot of people think is a bit uh, unnecessary because you know people in India want to use two SIMs and a micro SD slot at the same time but Xiaomi wants to, you to use either a SIM in one slot or a micro SD. Uh, we're going to remove the protective covering on the front I think it's high time it went away. The display on the front of the Redmi Note 4 is a 5.5 inch full HD uh, LCD IPS screen. Let me remove this as well. Uh, as far as blacks go, Xiaomi's done a pretty good job. However, if you can see, like uh, fingerprints tend to stick on the back of the device, and I think you will need a cover with this, no matter how gorgeous this black looks. Uh, so let's just switch it on. That's the familiar me.com logo that we're all used to. Okay, so let me just get rid of the other stuff out of the frame. Let's just grab the phone, the charger. So yeah, the Redmi Note 4 runs uh, MIUI 8 with Android Marshmallow. Uh, we're not sure when the Nuga update for this will be rolled out, but that should happen. Xiaomi has not been so slow with their updates either. Uh, we're going to choose English India and we're going to set this up. This phone has a one year warranty, whereas the accessories, which is the charger and the cable have a six month warranty. So you should keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Google keyboard, I'm going to skip this step for now, accept terms and conditions, skip this step. I don't have a SIM card so I'm avoiding that for now, skip this step. So we're just setting up the phone, as you can see Xiaomi will 
uh, ask you for themes to set up when you are setting up your new Xiaomi phone so you can go with whatever and I'm just going with the default theme because I think that's best it takes a while for this to load it comes preloaded with some of Xiaomi's own apps as well although it's not uh, loaded with bloatware like some of the other phones that we've seen but this is a heavily uh, customized UI in terms of uh, it's not entirely it's not like a stock Android experience. If you're looking for that, perhaps you stick with the Motorola or the Lenovo series. So here's a closer look at what the Redmi Note 4 looks like when you switch it on for the first time. I have not signed in via my Mi account or the Google Play Store either, but you're supposed to do that. It's recommended. Uh, some of the preloaded apps are the Amazon app is available already and so is the Amazon Kindle. Flipkart is also available uh, preloaded on the phone. Uh, the Redmi Note 4, I think is retailing on the Flipkart store and the Redmi 4A is uh, retailing on Amazon. Um, there's also the Mi store and the Mi community some apps as well. Xiaomi has its own tools as well. Uh, there's a Mi account which you can sign in uh, for messaging. There's something called Mi message as well. Again you need to sign into your Mi account for this and you can share messages over the internet with friends who are on a Xiaomi phone as well. These are all the Google apps which they have to install, that's the gallery. So let's take a look at the camera as well. The Redmi Note 4 comes with a 13 megapixel camera on the back with PDAF and it's capable of shooting videos in 108p as well. It's pretty fast. Uh, I've reviewed this camera already. So you should check out our earlier video review of the phone as well. And it's pretty fast. However, I didn't like the low light performance as such, but it's still better than a lot of the other cameras in this similar price range. And the front camera is 5 megapixel. So yeah, this is the Redmi Note 4. Uh, follow and subscribe to our channel to see more unboxing videos. Let us know in the comments if you want us to unbox some phones and we'll try and do more videos around those as well.